Okay, today I will show you how to connect the timer to display when they have a different RFID number. Firstly, we have to find out the right RFID number of this display. Turn it on, you will see. 435, that's its RFID number. Then turn on the timer. You see here, there is a line in the middle. That means it does not connect to any display. So we go to more setting. Go to system, find RFID, and check the ID number of the timer. That's 430. We have to change this 430 to 435, same as the display. Set it to 435 five and then go back to home page and restart the timer okay and then turn it on you will see they will connect to each other directly you, you see here there is no middle line on the wireless icon anymore we can check Okay, we can turn on the display to find the RFID number. You see here, 435. But there is a label here. It shows 430. That's different. We want to make it the same. Change the display ID number to 430. We have to connect the timer to the display. First, turn it on. And you see they connect successfully. And then, Go to more setting. Once the display and the timer connect already, you can use the timer to change the RFID number of the display. Find the LED display and then change its ID here. You will see flashing when, when you change its number. Go to 430, then go back. And uh, let's turn off the display. Turn on again. You see 430. That means we already changed its RFID number successfully. And if we want to connect the timer to display, we have to change the timer's ID to 430 also. Okay, then go back to home page and uh, restart the timer. Now they share the same RFID number, so they will connect to each other successfully. Okay, that's the way to change the RFID number of the display. When using the display, we have to pay attention to some details. Here, we have to fix the antenna to the display first, and then you can use the power bank to supply power to the display when you use it outdoor and no direct power for it. This design is, is for fix the power bank here conveniently. And just use the USB cable to connect them.